Hey, First Middleburg family. Pastor Chris here, and I want to introduce you to a new video series we're going to start here at the church. We'll throw it up on Facebook from time to time called Coffee with Chris. And what we're going to do is just periodically put a 3 to 15 minute video up in which I answer some common questions uh, that I get from our church, or I tell you a little bit more about me or our ministries here at First Baptist Middleburg, and uh, just tell you a little bit more about where we're going, and even may introduce you to some of my family members. And I want to start with one of the most common questions I've gotten in the six weeks since I started as your pastor, and that is, what translation of the Bible do I use for preaching and for personal study? And the answer to that question is I use the English Standard Version of the Bible from Crossway Publishers. The ESV is a translation that's about 20 years old. It was produced by a, a number of godly, brilliant scholars who relied on the Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek uh, texts of the Bible. And it's a very accurate translation, and I trust it a great deal. There are a number of different translations of the Bible that are very trustworthy. Some people love the New American Standard Bible. Some people like the King James Version. And both of those Bibles are very literal translations, but they're kind of difficult to read, and their grammar can be chopped because the, the translation is so wooden. And there are other translations of the Bible, like the New Living Translation or the New International Version, where it's called a dynamic equivalence, and so it's more of a thought-for-thought -thought translation. And the meaning of the text is translated literally, but it's not as word-for-word -word as some of the other translations I just mentioned. And the English Standard Version is kind of a happy medium between the two. It's called an optimal equivalence translation. And so it's very literal, but the grammar has been smoothed out to make it very readable and the reading comprehension is very easy and it's a real joy to read. So it comes in right at a seventh grade reading level, which is right where the NIV is, but it's closer in its literal translation to the New American Standard or the King James Bible. And so I would encourage you to pick up a copy of the English Standard Version uh, if you can. If you can, if you already have the NIV or the New American Standard or the King James Version or the New Living Translation, those are all great translations as well. And the best translation is one that you're going to use. And so that's what I recommend the most. Another question I've gotten a lot since I started is, hey, Pastor Chris, is it okay to read the Bible on my phone or a tablet or an iPad and just use a Bible reading app uh, or to read it on my computer? And the answer to that is, of course that's okay. Whatever translation or version you're going to read, whatever format you're going to read is best. And one of the things you'll notice about me is I always use a hard copy of the Bible. And there's a reason for that. Multiple studies have shown that we retain more of what we read on a printed page. And so I want to hold on to as much of the Bible as I can, and I actually underline and highlight my Bible whenever I'm reading it. And so I use a hard copy of the Bible, but there's nothing wrong with using your phone or using an uh, iPad or some other kind of tablet when you study the Bible. Again, the most important thing is you pick something that you're going to use and go to frequently. Uh, one thing that we're going to be very, very committed to during my time here at First Baptist Middleburg is we're going to be committed to the authority and the sufficiency of Scripture. And we can't be committed to the authority and sufficiency of Scripture if we're not willing to open up the pages of God's Word, study what it says, and submit to what we find in its pages. So, in the meantime, enjoy your coffee, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.